It's true, students in Montgomery County are some of the best activists. Together, and together we can do something about it. On issues both local and federal. Thank you. Wow, never been out here. This is cool. So, when Councilmember Tom Hucker received an invitation to visit with members of Blair High School's Sunrise Movement, he knew he had to accept. Tom. The Sunrise Movement is a national group of young people uniting to stop the climate crisis. Our resolution for decades, um, elected officials around the world have used a future that is not theirs to sell as a political bargaining chip. They have seen that um, climate change is threatening our future and they have chosen to quietly take fossil fuel money instead and deny it, ignore it, say, they're go say they'll do something next year. Graham and the rest of her group invited Councilmember Hucker. There's nothing more urgent than addressing climate change. It's After reading up on his record the on the environment, the they discussed what's happening at the national level with climate change as well as other work the council is doing to keep tabs on work here to protect the environment. Friday, we're doing a big briefing on climate. And we're bringing in our top experts from around the country, multiple agencies. We're bringing in advocates. We're going to have them all sit at the table. And we're going to ask our department heads, how, and, you know, what are you doing? And what are your priorities this year? And what are you going to commit to get done in transportation, in building retrofits, um, and in, and, uh, in the Department of Environment as well? What are you doing to reduce carbon? We're facing a climate emergency. Hucker has already been working for years at both the state and county level to protect the climate. We want to use more renewable energy, helping the county meet its goal, our goal of eliminating carbon emissions by 2035. He's been successful in getting two bills passed that remove hurdles to more solar throughout the county and also passed a measure setting up a green jobs apprenticeship program through WorkSource Montgomery. In the meantime, we ought to be doing everything possible to pass every good policy in Montgomery County. We've always been leaders. We declared a climate emergency last year we decided we're going to get to we made a commitment to get to carbon free by 2035 which is very difficult and now as, as hard as that was to pass it's even harder to make that happen and I'm really hoping to partner with these students and other students around the the county to get all that legislation passed as part of a sort of Green New Deal for Montgomery County in the next year or two. I really hope that we can work in partnership and you can help. The students at Blair have partnered with the Sunrise Movement group at Bethesda Chevy Chase High School both groups are committed to raising awareness at the local level, which they say is imperative to the future. I think um, the federal government right now just doesn't realize how important it is and how much everyone um, across the country supports it. So I think the more that they see that individual local governments, including city governments and um, and county councils um, supported across the country, I think the more likely they are to realize, like, oh yeah, like this is a really big issue. This is people all across the country care about this, and seeing that youth are the ones who are leading this and organizing and um, trying to get these resolutions passed, I think that really helps them understand like how big of an issue this is and how much this really affects our future and how much we're paying attention and we know what they're doing and we can see that they're not acting and we want them to act. It's fantastic. It's really inspiring for me to arguments in favor of this from all of you. We have such a vibrant civic culture with such an engaged small d democracy, right? Um, and the students of today learning activism, learning who their council members are, how a bill passes, what, what, how the budget is put together. Those are all critical skills that it will affect their lives when they rent an apartment, when they buy a home, when they get a job in Montgomery County and become, you know, the, the full-fledged citizens of, uh, of, uh, and voters of the future. In Silver Spring, I'm Susan Kennedy for County Report This Week.